Good Wednesday morning, church and friends, wherever you are. Uh, you may be joining us together on this sunny Wednesday morning here in Kirksville, Missouri, or you may be joining us in the afternoon or the evening or even the middle of the night if you're like me and you sometimes pick up your phone um, when you can't sleep. Um, for those who don't know, I'm Reverend Jennifer Finley, our Momentum and Discipleship Pastor here at First UMC in Kirksville. And this is our time to pause together in the middle of the week, to wonder together about where God is meeting us, where Jesus Christ is meeting us in these days. Uh, now, I usually like to have some fun with what, where I'm sitting and have some kind of beautiful background for us as we join together. Um, and today I am being, I am learning flexibility once again because I thought I would have this beautiful background of our Jesus window in our chapel downstairs. But it is a beautiful sunny morning, if a little bit chilly here in Kirksville, and uh, it was not going to work to try to video straight into a sunny window. So instead, I'm coming to you from a less descript location. Um, but that's okay because we can still wonder together about where God is meeting us, even in those unexpected changes of plan. So I'm asking that question of myself and of all of us together that we've asked for over a year now. Where have you seen God at work in yourself, in others? And in this particular season, as we are still in the Easter season, we're asking together, where has the risen Christ met you? Now, on Sunday, Pastor Lori and I talked a little bit about Thomas in that scripture where Thomas isn't in the room when Jesus comes as the resurrected Christ. And when he comes back, he has missed out on something, some experience. And he says, until I see Jesus for myself, until I see and touch those nail marks in that side, I won't believe. And we talked a little bit about how sometimes Thomas gets a bad rap. Um, but that perhaps instead of this doubting Thomas, there's the courage of Thomas to be honest, to just name what is going on for him and to name what he needs. And then a week later, Jesus meets him where he is and comes and to his presence and says, here, see see and touch. And that got me to thinking about when Christ has met me where I am and what are my own until I see. So I thought I'd share an experience I had, not this week actually, a couple weeks ago now. Uh, it was the Monday after Easter, which traditionally for those of us who lead worship on Easter Sunday is a day where we take a deep breath, take a day off, do some relaxing um, and some catching up. And so I was catching up with some errands and I was out at one of our local stores. Um, and I happened to see a friend that I had seen online quite a bit, but had not seen in person for quite a while, maybe perhaps even a year at this point, I suspect. Um, and we waved. And then she came over and gave me a big hug. It was unexpected and it was beautiful. And in that moment, I realized that one of my until I sees, without even realizing it had been until I can give someone a hug, until someone can hug me, until I can really hold close that physical touch of a friend or a family member, I'm not gonna feel like resurrection and new life in this season is real. And here's the thing, the risen Christ met me in that moment exactly where I needed him with what I needed without, without even me articulating that's what I needed to myself or to anybody else. And since then, since that moment, there have been a few other moments in the ability to hold a hand or to put my hand on someone else's in a time of need where I have recognized that that, that is what I needed. And the risen Christ has met me there now. I know um, we're not all there yet. We're still in vaccine rolls out and we're all, all navigating 
what our anxiety levels will allow us to do and to be. And we're certainly not in a place just yet where we're going to have large scale gatherings where we're all hugging all the time, right? But, but in that one personal moment with this one person where Christ met me with exactly what I needed and said, here, here, see, resurrection is possible. New life is possible. There was beautiful beauty in that on the Monday after Easter and into these next weeks. And I share that holy moment with you from my own life, hoping and praying that you too have had those holy moments, whatever they are for you, and that you also are able to find a way to say with honesty and courage, until I see, and fill that in for yourself. It might simply be writing it down. It might be sharing it with somebody. It might be simply sharing it with God. There's power in that. I found power in that, and I hope you do as well. And whether or not we are able to articulate exactly what we need in these moments, in these days, know that the risen Christ is ready and willing to meet us in all of those unexpected moments, even in the grocery store line, maybe especially in the grocery store line. So friends, wherever today is for you and wherever this week takes you, my hope and prayer is that we see the risen Christ in our midst. Go in peace today, my friends. Amen.